Hello you guys and welcome back to yet another video and I'm going through the fields a bit today because this is my first official day in the apartment by myself. Diamond and my aunt left last night and needless to say, it was quite emotional. And so like waking up this morning, it was amazing getting to wake up to my view and this nice, beautiful, clean apartment, but there was extreme loneliness. Um, just because, you know, like, fuck, they're like my best friends and they're totally like not here right now. So of course I was pretty sad. Got up at 7 a.m., have been starting my morning so early and I'm so proud of that. I knock out at like 11.30. But anyway, I know you guys don't care to hear about that. But basically, it's about 12 or 1 right now. I've just been working. I've been doing phone calls all day, computer work, and just finalizing some last paperwork for taxes and stuff. But I figured I would get myself a little bit ready and show you guys the apartment because I filmed an entire apartment tour last, like, like yesterday, and I wasn't that happy with it. So I'm gonna film it again because I feel like I was so scatterbrained. So now, enjoy the apartment tour. I cannot believe I'm showing you guys this and I hope that you guys love it as much as I do. Let's do it. This is obviously my wonderful, wonderful front door and a pile of trash that I need to take out. You walk in and this is what you immediately see. So it's a huge, huge, huge kitchen. Like it's honestly what makes this like 600 square foot apartment look massive. So double door refrigerator with like filtered water, tons and tons and tons of cabinet space with like really like a beautiful contrast. I really like that it's like white wood up here, stainless steel appliances, brown stuff on the bottom. I even got some fake plants because we all know, well we don't, you guys might not know, but I cannot, I cannot keep a plant alive for the life of me. So I saw these at Target and I had to buy them. So basically the theme that you'll find throughout this apartment, you can even see it here, it's like dark and light furniture and then green for like plants going for that minimalist look like I told you guys so I also really wanted to make sure that I made this apartment like like I don't know my idea behind it was like cozy yet like really nice and like adulty but like very simple and modern I don't know this is my first apartment I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna do this the way that I want it to be so okay anyway so yeah you've got like the double sink and basically all the things that a kitchen would ever need. And yeah, so there's an island here, which is kind of rare for apartments. It's actually very rare. So I don't need to get a table, which thank God there would not be enough room for it. So I just got some dining room table type of like, what are these called, bar stool seating. Got them at Ikea in white and some placemats from Target. And you go over here, this is like some counter space. I have a picture of my mama and me and Diamond. She gave me this for Christmas. I need to get this framed again. A candle from somebody who I really think is awesome. And then my living room area, which you can see is not far away from the kitchen area, which is okay, like I said. This makes it seem so much more open. I really like that it has this nice, huge, like, open floor plan. Not huge, but it makes it look huge. So I just have my slippers down here. I got, like, an area rug. And I got my sofa from Ikea. I really wanted to make sure that since this is a one bedroom, when I have people come and stay the night, that they are more than comfortable sleeping on the sofa. Just a bunch of stuff. Everything I got is from Target and Ikea. And then a website called Steal a Sofa where you get, like, designer furniture for stupid cheap because it's, like, an outlet mall. And then over here, I just have like my little coffee table thingies. Again, my fake plants from Target, some coasters. Um, yes, I do read comics on occasion. I really like Brian Lee O'Malley. I really like Scott Pilgrim stuff. And then um, some like makeup and style books I've had for a really long time. And then over here is my television, which is like a smart TV. So I wake up and I play like Spotify on it and stuff in the morning, which is really cool. It's just the Insignia brand. Then I have my Scott Pilgrim comics. I'm missing number two, DirecTV. And this is like my mom's little dedication area. So, and then in there is just more books and my tripod. And then it's time for the view. This is what I'm lucky enough to wake up to every single morning. Apparently this is considered an unobstructed Hollywood view because if you look all the way over there that is the Hollywood sign and then that is the Griffith Observatory which are two of well I've never actually been to the Hollywood sign but Griffith Observatory is one of my favorite places to go and watch the sunset yes yeah, is what I get to wake up to it's pretty stinking rad I love it I never close my blinds I have not closed them once nor do I plan to that is a quick a quick little kitchen island living room area apartment tourness I feel like this is an Airbnb like is this actually mine apparently it is I don't I don't know <laughs> Oh, and my last favorite thing is I have like these cute spot lightings. Obviously when it's darker, this lights up the entire sofa area, but I have that little spotlight. And then over here, 
it's all like spotlighting as well, which really makes for like nice lighting in my opinion. Oh, oh, there we go. And it's like under the cabinets and stuff too. But there's so much natural light in here, I don't ever really need them on until nighttime. Okay, into the bedroom. Wow. <laughs> this is all I have in here. I'm totally kidding. Okay, but it pretty much is. So this is my bedroom. It has purple carpets, which I was really nervous about when the woman told me that there was purple carpets, but honestly, it makes it so that I don't have to paint the walls because it's such a perfect pop of color. I don't need anything else. and allows me to keep everything else white and clean like I wanted. So this is my bedding, again, from Ikea. It's like, like 20 bucks or something like that. Got the headboard from Steal a Sofa, which is that outlet store I was telling you about. I got my little teddy bear that my mom gave me because adulting never forever keeping this teddy bear. A nice little accent pillow and just like some throw blankets. Then over here you go into like my side, like the beginning of my desk stuff. So I have like my NASM book, my super training book, and then just like some random paperwork and things that I need to hold on to. And my computer chair, which is pretty self-explanatory. And this is my desk area. So everything is organized very, very specifically. So I have like my organizer filled with like receipts and files and papers and oh, all the stuff that you wouldn't want to think of. And then just like some paper clips and pins, my Polaroid camera, my bulletin board, which I'm gonna hang up here eventually. And then my little pen bin. And <laughs> I got chocolate eggs in Australia, so I just keep these here to pick at when I'm doing office work because why not? That is my little desk area. Oh, and I'll show you. Bedroom view is pretty much the same as the living room view, obviously, because that window is just right there and then it leads over to all of this. So again, Griffith Observatory, Hollywood sign. Same idea. That is my bedroom. I like how tidy and simple and clean it is. I'll be making a couple extra changes along the way to give it more of like a homey vibe, but that is pretty much it for that. Now into the bathroom. Yes, the light turned on by itself. I'm like, I was like tripping out during my apartment tour. I was like, what is this? This is the bathroom. It's super duper spacious. Like, look at all that floor space. What is your girl gonna do with all that floor space? Just have my two little candles, my like essential bathroom stuff. And in these drawers, I just have basically everything you could ever think I would need. I think in here it's just cotton swabs. And then, yeah, like all of my hair tools and stuff. So that is the counter area, toilet, baby wipes, Febreze. Yeah, I don't even need to explain that. And then my shower, which I absolutely love. It has like really thick glass sliding doors, which I like. I love that the faucet, this is really random, but the faucet's really high. At my house that I lived in, it was like all the way down here. And I don't know, I just feel like this gives it more of like a spa feel, like when the water comes out. It's just so like, wow! This is obviously where I hang my towel. Pretty groovy if you ask me. And then my washer and dryer. Yes, I have a washer and dryer in my apartment, in my bathroom, so conveniently tucked away. That is pretty self-explanatory as well. So the very, very last part of this apartment is going to be my walk-in closet, which I genuinely did not think I was going to be able to fill up, honestly, because I'm like, <laughs> I can barely, like, well, I could fill up my entire, like, sliding door closet, but I was like, well, that's, you know, that's pretty much all I have, and then next thing you know, my walk-in closet is full, so let's show you that. So, this is pretty much the walk-in closet. There's another side over here, which I'll show you guys in a second. This is my closet. I keep all of my shoes down here. This is where I keep like all of my jackets and sweatshirts and all that stuff. Scarves, and then this is where like storage is, underwear, bathing suits, gym sport bra type stuff, pajamas, all that. I have some keepsake stuff here. Over here is my day-to-day -day clothes. Then I have my pants down here. I already have a bunch of laundry to do. And then this is my favorite side of the closet only because it is all my gym clothes. I had enough room to hang all of my gym clothes because honestly, I feel like it's not much of a difference in gym clothes than it is to casual clothes. And I really like to take good care of my gym clothes, so I created its own little nook for it because this would have been empty anyway. And then down here, same idea, my Gymshark Nike and Lululemon leggings. Not all are clean right now, a lot are in there and in there. There's a lot of laundry to be done. That is the apartment. I am so excited to be able to show this with you guys and share this with you guys. And I hope that you 
enjoyed getting to see where I will be living now and where all my videos will be filmed now and just where I will be now. So that is it. I don't know, everything feels so strange, but that, yeah, that that's my apartment. So that's it. I will see you guys at the gym. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. I'll see you guys soon. I may as well show you guys what I'm making for a late breakfast, kind of, sort of, idea, maybe. So I'm basically making uh, just one whole egg mixed with maybe two or three servings of egg whites, some black pepper and garlic salt with parsley. That's what I always use to season stuff. And then some olive oil. I don't know if I mentioned the turkey bacon, but I'm doing two pieces of turkey bacon. And then I'm going to just chop up some sweet mini peppers and scramble those into the eggs. I'm cutting, I'm on this shit. So my lunch is all ready. So I just have a glass of some water. I have two pieces of turkey bacon, about 120 grams of strawberries, 200 grams of egg whites, and one whole egg with 50 grams of bell pepper, and then some low-fat string cheese. So this is going to fuel me up before I start my workout, and while I eat it, I am watching New Girl, best TV show in the entire world, starting from the beginning. back from the gym and honestly that was a lot harder than I thought it would be. As you guys know I haven't been in the gym like really consistently following program for about two weeks now, but especially a week of really no training at all. So that was actually pretty fucking hard. Omar had me doing sets of eight for my squats and then front squats, which were killer. Like all of it was just so hard. And then I threw in some accessory work at the end. So that is the end of the workout. My head started to hurt halfway through. And I think it's because I didn't bring a water bottle down with me and normally I always have like Powerade or something that I'm sipping on or at least can access a water fountain and there's no water fountain down there. So right now, my my head is killing me and so I'm gonna try and cook myself up some dinner probably watch a little bit more of new girl and get this video edited and uploaded for you guys in the meantime I'm taking the rest of the night off to just relax probably fall asleep by 10 but yeah that is it for today's video I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I guess I'll be seeing you guys in the next video <laughs> please